G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. And in case any of you are wondering why I say that at every introduction, it's for the international people who listen, who don't quite know where I live. Anyway, I'm trialling the honeypot hive system with the local species Tetragonula hocking's eye. This episode, crunch time. Well, it's the 20th of July 2016. Temperatures back to normal. High 20s during the day. Uh, high, eight, uh, high teens at night, but 18. But last week we had a real cold snap come through. So cold, in fact, that one day didn't get above 20 degrees and these poor little buggers never got out to fly for the day. That's why this is late. I plan to have this out by about 15 July but that cold snap and drizzly weather delayed it. Now the observant among you will see that these honeypot trays are out. And that tells you, if you've got a quick thinking brain, that I've been into this hive. Well, I have, and that's because Steven Spielberg would not hire me to help film any of these movies. I have already done an inspection in this hive and silly me erased the whole lot but I'm redoing it again and I can still show you what I've done and tell you what's happened okay why is it crunch time because when I went to look in this hive there was two decisions to be made I believe that by a month or a month and a half I should know whether the induction is working or not if it's not working, no sign of activity, it's time to pull this whole thing out. Signs of activity, time to carry on. It's 50 days since I've done the last induction. 50 days is a crucial time period. All the brood that I put in there, not should have, would have hatched. If it's dead, it's out. Therefore, finding any brood in there, no matter how small, means... There's been a queen in there at some stage. Whether this hive's killed it or not, I don't know. So that's very important. If there's brood activity, or if I'm happy with the activity, I'm planning to put on an extra brood box. Let's throw them out of the way. Like that, just an empty box. And put it in there. Now, what was the other concern from the last video? The condensation at the top. If there was still condensation at the top, I made this. And as you can see here, this is a tube that I've drilled into the chamber. It's a ventilation tube. The bees use it to vent their hives and keep the moisture down. So that's there just in case. If you do do this, and I was going to stack this up, I might have gone higher than the lid. What would have happened then? I would have needed to build extra foam around it but my interim measure was to use as I throw all the stuff around red bubble wrap why red you may ask well bees can't see red to a bee this is actually black so that cuts out the light and insulates but know your physics and light red light coming through this filters out all but red light and then it hits the blue again this will make things dark for the inside of the hive so this was here in case i needed to do that it's a way of getting darkness there now as you can see stuff's out so i must have had a look so what did i find in here well, there's only one way to retell the story, and that's to reopen it again and see what I've done. And I've made some major changes. Already, you can see the following. Have a look as this plane comes over. You can see there's a lot of activity up the top. That's telling you that the bees are now reworking all this. 
Also note, the moisture's gone as well. I'll just put this back, because you want to see the rest. I'm trying to tilt this at an angle so you don't get the glare from the sun. I don't want it blowing over from the wind either. That should be right. So, they're actually working that. It's sealed, so they're not venting it. But they are working it, and they've taken the moisture out. So suddenly, I don't need this anymore. But it will still go on in later episodes when I manage the hive. I also don't need my red bubble wrap anymore because the lid just covers that up. Which tells you, why is it so high? Aha! Uh -huh. Let's have a look. You can see I've made some major changes. When I opened it up, this brew chamber, that's the original brew chamber, it was empty, except it had six cells still in the bottom, six brood cells, right at the bottom. There was also what you call that stringy superstructure wax, wax and resin, whatever you want to call it, in there showing that they're building in there so i had cells in there that shouldn't be there i had superstructure in there that told me that they're building in there more importantly than that that also tells me that maybe a queen is there and when i opened it up and had a good look inside the queens dove into the very bottom box the bottom box is chockers it is utterly full and the very top of the bottom box here had a honey pot right at the top in the opening to the next entry into the brew chamber. So that's telling me that they have accepted that. So we've got activity up here in the honey pot chamber. Good workings here. Cells may be indicating that a queen has moved in already, but only about half a dozen to a dozen. But it's a good sign. And this full. So what did I do here? Well, I know Hocking's eyes in these hives build a pretty massive pollen store. And that one little box at the bottom, I sort of worked out is not enough. So I grabbed some extra honey pots like this. And I put them together like that. And so what have I created? A tunnel going up further. But more importantly, it's a storage area. So they can now got that area to start filling. So I've got all this full, new storage area in, activity in here, activity in here. What might make it reluctant for the bees to keep continue on? Well, you've seen the size of my hive. Hocking's eyes are big builders of nests. That chamber, mmm, a little bit small possibly wouldn't hurt and i did it i've added an extra empty chamber if you remember from previous videos there's a lid on the top of here i pried that lid off it's now on top of here so that's now one big empty chamber so overall extremely happy to let this carry on now i was very 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 pleased to see the activity at the top. There's bees, 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 all there. And they're still there from the last time when I stuffed up the video, which tells me that they're really just occupying this area. They like it. Extra storage, activity. This is going well and well enough that I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to dismantle or do a different method of propagation. So let's quickly put it together. As you can see there, plenty of activity with the bees flying in and out. We'll have a quick look at that just to keep you happy. So as you can see there, bees are doing their own thing. So they're, they're definitely going through. They're definitely entering the new chamber. It's now a lot bigger. So to the original designer, I'm 
just modifying it now to be more acceptable. When's the next video? Oh, that's a good one. Ah, ah, with that activity, they've got to seal that up. I want to see more activity going on. Oh, sometime uh, first quarter of July. I will won't put a date down because weather's been weird up here lately. Can't tell me climate change not happening. Anyway, hope you enjoyed and uh, did I say early July? Oh, I tell you, I need a drink. Try early August will be the next one.